Aqua Jet should do about six. That's okay. That's into a zoom roll too. I was gonna say Bold and Go would eat that even better. Look at that. That was a crit too. Get him Bold and Go. Expose him. Michael calls it Bold and Go. Borrow battle teams. I'm gonna get rid of some of these. Let's get rid of you. No, let's get rid of you. And we will now rent V Y or V H Y drug. Okay. All right. So we doing viewer battles today. Maybe later on, I want to get like something for YouTube before we do that. Uh, cause I don't want to like upload anything with like the team that I'm running right now. So we have leftovers golden go, AKA bold and go. Uh, this dude is fat. He's hardly got any special attack investment. Uh, he's like really, really thick with like nasty pot, make it rain stuff. We got flare blitz, extreme speed, will-o-wisp. Uh, we have a parish song, a zoom roll, rage powder, terra flying, amoongus. We have terra steel, flutter main with parish song. And of course we have Terra Dark, Covert Cloak, Gothitelle. So, let's see what we can do with this. This is Michael's team. Michael makes all the thumbnails and stuff. If you don't know what Michael is. Uh, but let's uh, let's get on the ladder with this and try it out. Now, truth be told, I only recently got to Master Ball this season because I'm lazy. Um, hold on. Give me a second. There we go. I only recently got to Master Ball this season because I'm lazy. So, yeah, let's see what we can do. Hold and go. Straight up. Okay, my hair feels weird. Like, I don't like the shape of it right now. J Thunder VGC. Uh, cause I have to wear like these safety goggles at work and it's just in such a shape that it's like, yeah. This is the San Diego team. This is series one. Uh, Bold and Go actually goes pretty positive into this, but, um, do I want to go Bold and Go lead? Bold and Go lead's not that bad. It's Terra Water though on that Vex Caliber, if I recall. Hmm. How do I beat this? Yeah, I was watching Majority Report today. I chatted in. All right. Uh, I mean, Life Orb Azumarill seems kind of safe. Yeah, let's do that. Um, This is going to be kind of a weird game. I don't think I bring... Ah, uh, maybe I do bring it. No Amoongus. We go... Double ghost. Let's do it. Look how tiny this Coke is. Coke jump scare. All right. Found my six for Charlotte. I feel a small bit of joy for the first time in it. Yeah, me too. Like, I like the team that I'm bringing to Charlotte. All right, how's game audio, by the way? Is it, is, it, is it messed up? Is it not? Unfortunately, they let off with like the two things that can't get trapped in. I have a few options. Bold and Go doesn't seem that bad because they're not gonna like flower trick on me ever, but also it's like not good either. I think I just want to go for damage. All right, well, it looks like we got rid of that. Yeah, I'm going to Charlotte. All right, so we got rid of that pretty quickly. Dude, I'll be honest, I'm 5'8". I'm Anyone above 5'8 looks like six feet to me. If you're like any taller than 5'8", I'm just like, oh wow, six feet. 
All right, uh, I'm gonna send in Bold and Go. Or actually, maybe I protect and get in Bold and Go. Because uh, I want to save this guy for Parish Song Endgame just to, like, win. Terra Fire, I would assume. Actually, no, what's the Terra on the Mimikyu? Because they should never Terra Fire there. All right, I guess they're Terra Firing. I'm pretty sure this was Terra Fire. Oh, it's Terra Water? I don't remember anything about this team. It won a, it won a tournament. I'm just forgetting everything. Terra Water into Protect, so there was no reason to Terra that turn. All right. I have confidence that Thick Golden Go can live everything. Hmm. I don't want to Trick Room. I think I'm just going to send in Flutter. Nah, I don't do that ever. I just Shadow Ball Mimikyu. And send in Azumarill again. And I think I Terra Water here. Just to, like, not take much from the, um, the Terra Water Raging Bowl, because that could hurt. Also, taking less from Shadow Claw. Okay. Aqua Jet should do about six. That's okay, that's into a zoom roll too. I was gonna say Bolden Go would eat that even better. Look at that. That was a crit too. Get him, Bolden Go. Expose him. Um, that Mimikyu should be in range of two Aqua Jets, and then I can just Parish Song. Maybe not two Aqua Jets, but I always protect this turn anyways. Maybe I just play rough. I'm just gonna play rough. Yeah, I'm just gonna play rough. And, uh, protect here. And then I can Parish. Nice, they go for it into the bold and go. As long as I don't miss this play rough, I'm good. I'm gaming. Close combat into the bold and go. <laughs> Dude, thick golden ghost taking no damage this turn. That's insane. Alright, that thing's gone. We just perish and we win. It's Jarjanical, dude. Check it out. Jarjanical of Jarjanical fame. Let's perish song. And I'm going to send in the Gothitelle. Because that just allows me to uh, not really worry about anything. I don't know. It, it lets me hold on to like my leftovers, Mom. You know? Not like Gothitelle is going to survive the turn anyways. That, that will not save you. Imagine if um, if Purifying Salt made it immune to Parish Song, how busted that Pokemon would be on, like, a conceptual level. Alright. Party's over. Literally, um, Parish Song is just like, party's over, guys. Go home. I'm going to send in a bold and go in just nasty plot. Final turn flex. Perish song again, because there are no consequences for my actions. I will be perish songing every single turn until this match is over. There are no consequences for my actions. I'm going to take the Salt Cure, too. 
Just built different. <laughs> There are no consequences to this. List the consequences, I dare you. Oh wait, I like drop to Salk here, don't I? Because I'm a water type and a steel type, technically. You know, I was that before, but that's fine. We still win. No, we're good. We have another Pokemon in the back and it's a Focus Sashmon. Look, I can't- I couldn't have thrown this match. I'm gaming too hard. I- there's literally no way I could have thrown this match. I'm literally gaming. Alright, um, let's just go for the play rough into Tauros and then double it next turn. Cause of death games too hard. Oh, wait, that could lose me the game. Oh. Oh, that's actually like really bad that that just happened. Wait, no. No, not like this. Wait. Wait, that's really bad. Uh, yeah, missing that actually could have lost me the game. Because I kind of need to KO this Tauros. And it's probably AV. Look, I, I didn't say there were... I did say there were no consequences, didn't I? Ruh -ruh -reg. <laughs> oh wait, no, they're not AV. I know this because I coped. Uh, I mean, like, 30% chance to win. Let's just protect. Minus two spit off the- honestly, I forgot. I'm not even gonna lie, I forgot. They just have to like, not double, it's that simple. Why didn't I Moonblast? Oh, it's okay, they threw. I threw harder, I'm not gonna lie, I threw harder by saying there were no consequences to my actions. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. I'm gonna keep it real. That game was perfect. That was a perfect game. I played that perfectly up until I got in Golden Go and said there are no consequences for my actions. So let's just let's just perish song and let Golden Go go down for fun. This is gonna be one of those. Um, if you want to learn from me as a player, uh, keep in mind that I'm also a content creator. Moments. <laughs> this is one of those moments. Do you guys know what I mean? Where I'm like, I play really well, and then I go, and now we throw. <laughs> that was that. That was exactly what just happened. Yeah, in, in the moment, too, I was like, yeah, I can just, like, protect here, go for the 30%. I completely forgot this dude close combated twice, and I totally could have just Moonblasted to win. Also, it might have protected earlier. I wasn't paying attention. What matters is we won. And it was 100% deserved, guys. The comments will not be happy with that one. Why oh, you guys watch Moxie Boosted? Did you see what he just did on stream? This dude, this dude's so bad at the game. And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, um... We've seen this before. Uh, this is just like Glamora plus Hyper Offense stuff. Uh, obviously, we have uh, Iron Bundle, possibly. That's eh, not going to be Booster, because I would imagine the Booster is going to be on um, Roaring Moon. So maybe Covert Cloak on the Bundle, like Sash on the on the uh, Great Tusk. Versus this, I really do think that just leading off with like a really threatening duo is going to be my best way of beating this. I like this lead, obviously. Um, in the back, Bold and Go does not seem bad at all. 
And my last guy, I benefit quite a bit from Intimidate, but also Sash. Now nah, let's go Intimidate. All right. It's not about winning, it's about sending a message. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, that's basically the lead that I wanted. It's usually Covert Cloak on the uh, Town Flame. Typically Covert Cloak on the Town Flame. So I'm just going to go for the very neutral play of Aqua Jetting <laughs> and Trick Rooming. Because they can only prevent one of these, and if they don't get Tailwind off... Actually, no, I always want, I always want Trick Room, don't I? Let's just Protect and, like, play rough into you. I don't know why I get the feeling they're just not even going to bother protecting here. Yeah, I mean, sure, I still trick room next turn. And this still hurts pretty bad. Oh, okay, you just crit me too. Dang. Um, how do I not lose now? Because I'm probably going to get taunted, and I'm not mental herb. Bold and go might be my best out. I'm going to send in the arc here for like... Nah, I think I just protect here. I think I just protect scout for the... Wait, I protected last turn. Let's just KO Great Tusk. <laughs> Let's just KO it. Uh, I'd imagine that here they would 100% want to go for the, um... Want to go for the... They're not Do they not have taunt? Am I just, like, throwing by assuming they have taunt? Because that was a perfectly good turn to taunt. Alright, can you, like, not crit goth? All right. <laughs> I just like assumed it had taunt, right? Like, wouldn't you want to taunt there? Are, are they also like not covert cloak? I don't know how to feel about this anymore. Uh, let's go golden go here. Um, depending on what they send out, I'll figure out what my next play is. Roaring moon. Am I gonna have to tear a dark? Let's see if they're booster. I'd imagine they're booster. Yeah, uh, speed boost. Attack. Okay, uh, this changes how I play this turn. I am going to Terra Dark in Trick Room and get in my Arcanine. What a shame. So they don't have Taunt, right? Because there were like two turns in a row there. They definitely should have Taunted. Holy Hyena, thanks for the nine months. Yeah, no, now they're going to taunt. What I'm hoping here is that I, like, Terra Darked on, like, a... a throat chop or something. Because otherwise this might have been a wasted Terra. Great bird. Okay, I think I always get off Trick Room because of that. Dirt Chop? Cool. It was into Arcanine, too. <laughs> Poggers. Uh, I don't particularly care about Roaring Moon. I'm gonna protect here and go for the Flare Blitz onto Roaring Moon to send it into range of Make It Rain, and then I think I'm fine to win.
Because this is a slow golden go. I can just psychic and make it rain this next turn. And it's got a fat HP stat. This recoil very well, make Haomi. Good. That's what I wanted. I get a free switch in. Breaking swipe. Interesting. I guess it makes sense. It's a good move. Ray bird. And yeah, psychic plus uh, make it rain should be fine here. And I'm bold and go, baby. I can live whatever. Definitely not like, you know, a pretty, a, a, like a good move, but I can live the move that's immediately threatening. Which is, I don't know, some kind of priority move. This thing gets quick attack. <laughs> I'm just making things up. I don't need to worry about that. Yeah. Psychic plus make it rain. Um, yeah, I wasn't certain about Psychic uh, picking up the KO, which is why I didn't Shadow Ball there. But now I have Nasty Plot and I'm under Trick Room. And if there was an Amoongus, I'd definitely win. Was, was there even an Amoongus? I'm, I'm going to be honest, guys. I'm tired. <laughs> I got off all work and I'm not even paying attention to the teams at this point. All right. What matters is we're winning. Probably. Maybe. Glamora? Oh, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, they already Terrid, so that's just like Psychic plus Make It Rain. This is still a fairly strong move. 120 base power. I think that should do it. Oh, not quite. We're fine, though. Got any shinies to give away? What stream do you think you're in? Alright. Yeah, we're good. Psychic... Make it rain. Cool. You used to do it, bro? I have never given away a shiny in my life. It's a, it's huge power. It would have KO'd. Love the content, bro. Thank you. I really appreciate the uh, the support. All right. Uh, versus this team. Versus this team. Kind of weird. It's just like a hard rain team. I like the Gothitel lead because it prevents Palafin from getting to do anything ever. And... All right. He's... Do I bring this? No, I think I just go bold and go, dude. Or I could even, like, do Arcanine bold and go. Hmm. Let's do bold and go. If I tear a water, they're just kind of stuck in there with me. Uh, I like this, and I like you. You could be very fun. Let's do that. Health and Meow Scarada. Um, it's kind of a rough lead for me. I don't think Knockoff ever KOs me, and they also shouldn't ever Flower Trick. This is also a really bulky Gothitelle. So I think here I do just Trick Room and Nasty Plot Up and like Terra Water. Because they should never go for the uh, flower trick on me. They may even just try to U-turn out. Which defensively Gothitelle can't even cover for anyways. Alright, we lose our leftovers, that's fine. We get off TR. They do have flip turn. I didn't think they'd have flip turn on this thing. 
Sucker Punch is a little bit of a problem, especially if there's Sash on the um, Meowskarada. There's their Golden Go. Hmm. I have no idea how much this is going to do. That also didn't look like Choice Band. We didn't see any Life Orb. Definitely not Scarf. Is it just... Eh, maybe it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> Let's get Naramungus. And I'm going to Protect. What terror type is your goth? Dark. Dang. Honestly, without the recovery, Golden Ghost kind of stuck. They protect there. Okay, now I have kind of a rough choice to make. I don't know what their set is. The Thunderbolt and their Golden Go. I can Rage Powder that away. I can't Rage Powder away whatever this uh, Meowskarada wants to go for. And if it wants to go for Flower Trick, I'm in, I'm in like trouble. So I think here, my play is going to be to double the Meowskarada. But like go for Make It Rain for Chip onto Golden Go. And that might put it in range of other stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Could also be Specs Golden Go. But if it's Sash Meowskarada, like, they could have just KO'd me this turn. Yeah. And if it's Specs Golden Go, I don't mind it being stuck into, like, Thunderbolt. That still does so much to their gold, too. Critical hit? Alright, well, that makes more sense. <laughs> that just makes sense. Alright, check this out. We are not living this, because there's no way you can throw Thunderbolt on a Golden Go without it being Specs. You got like eight other good moves. That means I can send in the goth and it's kind of... Well, it's not trapped in because it's a ghost type. Um, but that means Fluttermane's a little bit safe, but I think I always go goth anyways. Because I can sleep the palafin slot. Ooh, wait, hold on. This could be a little bit problematic. Because Pelipper likely has safety goggles on it, just looking at their team. I'd imagine it has to be goggles on the Pelipper with, like, Sash on something else. So, I'm going to have to... Dude, honestly, I'm going to double this Golden Go. I'm going to double this Golden Go. I can't really let it do anything here. I don't even feel like scouting for the, uh... Yeah, because that means I get decent damage on Palafin. I don't feel like scouting for <laughs> safety goggles, because could just I could just lose there. They could also protect the Pelipper here, and that actually would be a giveaway that it might not be, um, goggles. Alright, not as much damage as I hoped. Hurricane... What kind of a Moongus doesn't take Hurricane, bro? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what kind of a Moongus spread is this? Okay. Um, my only out here is, unfortunately, I got a Moonblast U, and I have to reverse the Trick Room now. You're gonna Terra Water Jet Punch me. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get like Hurricane. I can't afford to protect here because I need to get rid of it like now, dude. I'm pretty sure I just lose that. Yep. Okay. Good game. 
Well, I mean, like, I keep up my streak of not being the best with rental teams, but I'm at least glad we were able to pick up two wins. All right, we'll forfeit there. Good game. Yeah, I think that... I think I probably should have just brought, like, um, a zoom roll to that matchup. I think I really underestimated how valuable a zoom roll could be in that. Hmm. Maybe a zoom roll over Fluttermane there would have made more sense. Yeah, I think that would have actually been the play. Okay. Well, that's fine. Well, we're going to call it there for the YouTube video section of this live stream. If you guys enjoyed this, you know, leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications, uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.